Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, October 18, 2021. If you like the support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And yes, very surprisingly, it really uh, rallied at the end of, uh, of uh, last week. Last the three trading days in last week, Wednesday to Friday, were really good. It rallied roughly 3.39%, and we are above the 50 moving average. So we're getting fairly overstretched here. If you look at the Bollinger Band, we're basically at the top of the Bollinger Band there, but there's almost no pullback at the end of the session. So that is a very bullish sign. But usually, I wouldn't be surprised if we pull back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is a roughly a drop of 2% to the downside, just above the 100 moving average before going higher. We are only, give or take, 1.6% from the all-time highs. And I would really be surprised if this just went like a V-shaped recovery from the bottom and all the way up in one go without having some kind of pullback at this point. If you look at technical English, we can see that MACD, it is a bullish, has crossed the skin line, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is stochastic. So uh, momentum is definitely to the upside, but... I wouldn't be surprised if we have a breather or a pullback here towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher. This market usually pulls back uh, in between. We saw September last year, October last year, March, February, and now also in um, September and in October. And uh, at the moment, we are above the 50 moving average, and that's a very bullish sign. So let's look at uh, NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, very similar here, but we did not break above the 50 moving average. We did rally, give or take, 3.29% from Wednesday to Friday, and there's almost no pullback at the end of a Friday session. Um, in all three sessions, it has basically been the end of the session where the rally had come. Uh, the beginning of the session, it uh, has pulled back, and then the end of the session, it just rallies. So has been fairly... Um, uh, fairly strange to trade uh, trade this market because your expectation is that it will pull back and all of a sudden it turns around and then rallies. If you look at the bullish band, there is still uh, room to the upside, give or take 1.5% uh, before we basically hit the top. MACD is becoming is bullish, has crossed the single line, still in negative territory. RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is stochastic. So momentum is definitely the upside, and we are quite far away from the all-time highs, roughly 3.5% from the all-time highs. And we have rallied, give or take, roughly 5% from the bottom, just above the 150 moving average. So if we get rejected here, then we'll most likely find support at the 100 moving average, but definitely at the 150 moving average. And it kind of looks like um, if we manage to... to um, uh, rally above the 50 moving average and stay above the 50 that we are going back to the all-time highs so we have also here like and uh, S&P 500 have occasionally pulled back towards 100 you can see it here September October last year this was this was uh, March uh, February and March and then also in May where we pulled back to 150 so 100 150 are moving averages which have been massive support in the past and this looks like a very similar uh, thing that is happening now so hope you find it helpful you want to support now by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much mm -hmm.